Hello traders, how are you? Rick here with Hit and Run Candlesticks. This is um, Monday, February 15, 2021. And happy uh, President's Day to everybody. I hope you're enjoying the day off in the market here. Um, anyway, I was just, this weekend I've kind of been kind of lazy and I've popped through a few charts and I sat down here this morning and went through a few charts that I thought we would add to the Road to Wealth account, and I uh, wanted to cover those with you uh, before tomorrow gets here. Uh, so let's let's take a look at that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is start with uh, the SPY, and I'm looking at my uh, just a trending chart, no price action on it at all, uh, just just lines. And what the lines are is uh, the green one is the 34. I'm sorry. That's the three exponential, three exponential. The yellow one is the T-line right there, or the eight exponential. The green dots, along with the red dots here, that's our trendicator, and the orange line is our 34 EMA. And what I want to show here is uh, the fact that we're still trending. Uh, we are still absolutely, whoops, wrong one. Uh, we're still absolutely trending in this area here. In fact, if you go back a little bit and go all the way back to here, maybe the trend started to crack just a little, but truly, it's still a trend. If we go back all the way back to November, that is all one big trend uh, with no, well, outside of this little area here. No real breaks in it, no cracks. That, that's just a small, small little shaker crack, not a break. So as I look at this, I can't help thinking, really doesn't matter what happens from day to day. I'm going to remain overall bullish as long as uh, this trend uh, continues to move up. Now we can take this down to a three bar chart and you can see that we're still moving up here. We can take this down to an hourly chart and we can see that it's still moving up. So you can break this down uh, as fast as you want to start finding uh, those, uh, those breaks in the trend. And if you look at this hourly, again, we go way back here, uh, February, early uh, February, so this month, February, where we've had nothing but a trend here, slightly shaky maybe some folks would even be a little concerned i was certainly concerned absolutely uh, but the bulls just keep pulling it right out so uh the next chart i want to look at is the t2122 and, and i've got this set on the uh, three bar chart or 130 minutes is what it is and you can see that uh, we've broken down through the trendicator. Trendicator has turned red, but you can see here that we're starting to break back to the upside. Uh, so tomorrow will be pretty important um, on determining uh, the direction of this uh, chart, or certainly be important uh, on the direction of this chart right here. Now, when when this T2122 gets up here in this area, I am cautious. Uh, I truly am cautious. I always want to watch that. But as long as this trend continues, I'm going to remain bullish. So it's bullish with a little caution, knowing that we are slightly in the overbought area. Um, if we just take a look at the chart now with uh, some price action on there, you can see how we've moved all the way back down to the 34 EMA. The trend indicator turned red. And then we came right back up uh, and then consolidated the last couple of days. And these candles, uh, I'm, I'm, look, I, I, was, I was really, really concerned. Um, I'm concerned because I want to protect my money. So whenever I see uh, shakiness in the market, uh, I really probably go overboard with the concern. Uh, but if there's anything that I just really, really dislike... Uh, that is, when you make money, you know, day after day, you do a good job, and then all of a sudden, one or two days takes it all from you. And 
uh, it could be that these, it could have been where these candles were setting up uh, for some weakness. Now, I also believe the candlesticks do not uh, need to um, uh, follow through the very next day. So we Friday, we had a nice bullish candle fr Friday, but this needs to continue. If it starts to sell off, well, I'm going to come back and blame it on these right here. So I've still got my eye on these candles, but the trend is still bullish, so we'll remain bullish. Uh, great finish on Friday. Uh, so as long as we show strength on that, which for me would just be about, well, let's go look at the three-bar chart. Yeah, taking the three-bar chart, we've got Friday's first candle, Friday's second candle, Friday's third candle. As long as we can close over, uh, well, bar one, bar two here for Friday. So above uh, 391.30, I'm going to remain on the bullish side. Anything below that, then I will have to reevaluate the chart and consider what's happening in the market. All right, let's take a look at some charts. Okay, um, these I've got, uh, I think, nine or ten, and they are in no particular order. Uh, I just thought I would just uh, uh, throw them out here. I just, just went back and marked them all up here. Um, so uh, take uh, H-Y-L-N, H-Y-L-N. Uh, huge, huge pop on Thursday, just massive. And then Friday, we ended up with a little doji down here. So I'm looking for a buy inside this uh, buy box area, and then we'll look for follow through to the upside. A um, couple places we might want to uh, consider up here is maybe the 2680 area, something like that. Um, maybe even maybe we should do something like there. Maybe somewhere between 25 and uh, 27 uh, for a for a move on this. And if we choose to buy this. Um, once we buy it, then that's when we'll adjust the stop in there. And that'll be dependent on the price action uh, in both the daily chart, uh, the three bar chart. I look at this an awful lot uh, to help with uh, determining a stop uh, and how the price action is working. So uh, it all depends uh, how this starts to work out. Now, there's no guarantee that we'll be buying this uh, Monday at all. Uh, usually the charts that we put out here, like uh, on on uh, charts to ponder over the weekend or our nightly uh, watch list that we put out, uh, these charts go on our main watch list, and then we wait for our alert system, which is live trading alerts. The scanner will tell us when uh, stocks are in our, our buy zone, um, and it'll tell us when uh, buyers are are stirring around and and what we look for is a bullish candle and that tells us that buyers are stirring around and that's where we'll look to uh, to place that buy and then adjust the stop accordingly uh, Sohu is one that uh, caught my attention Friday and this is not a chart um, I, I it's been so long since we even talked about Sohu uh, so it was kind of a surprise to see it out there. Totally forgot about it. Uh, but it looks like it's starting to come up here. Uh, pretty nice consolidation through here. The consolidation took a little bit of a, a little bit of a dive to the downside, and now the buyers are bringing it back here. Uh, so I'm, I'm seriously considering this. Uh, but it's going to have to meet all of our criteria. Uh, it's going to have to come back. Uh, show us a little bit of rest. It's already been up a couple days, three days, four days, one, two, three, four. So it's going to have to give us a little bit of rest in here. We'll watch for that buy signal, watch for the alert from live trading alerts. We'll adjust the stop um, if we buy it uh, accordingly. And as always, as always, what we do uh, with the um, road to wealth account is as price moves up, will take uh, price into strength. Um, so uh, another one is Marvel. Now we did buy some Marvel. Uh, so I held this over the weekend. Uh, Marvel is trending up. You can see the 34 EMA is still trending. Uh, the trend indicator is kind of choppy. 
uh, green, red, green, red, green, you can see that uh, the choppiness in the uh, trindicator has was created by price action, and the price action created a nice bullish W pattern. Uh, we broke out of that bullish W pattern, and we broke out of this downtrend line. So uh, I'm looking for uh, Marvel, <clears throat> Marvel to, to move up a little bit higher here uh, as it goes. So we'll watch for that. Uh, what I'm looking for maybe is an add to. So if it pulls back, uh, it might give us this add to. Um, a good example of, here. here's what I mean by that. Say a chart moves up and it pulls back <clears throat> and it gives us a buy signal here. And the buy signal pops up and then what it does is it just starts to relax a little bit and it might relax for a day or two, maybe three days. And then what happens is we get another buy signal. Well, that's where I might add to it. And if you'll notice, uh, this is all within that buy box area. So we bought it early. If it pulls back, sets up, we'll look at adding to it uh, inside this buy box or on a breakout. Uh, another chart that's looking pretty good as of Friday uh, was this uh, PEN, P-E-N-N, -N, uh, ended with a nice bullish engulf uh, on Friday after, what is it, one, two, three, four bars uh, on the pullback here. Pulled right back into that uh, 17 EMA, or our trendicator. Uh, so I'm looking at this one uh, above this uh, 115.60. Let me paint that red. There we go. Above this 115.60 area inside this box or on a slight breakout. And we will adjust that stop uh, once uh, that is bought. Win, W-Y-N-N. Uh, beautiful consolidation here. Uh, I've got this set a little bit high. I'd rather pay a little higher for this than on a pullback. I want to make sure that it can get through all this area. So above 116, I'll look at that as being bullish. We'll look at a buy in this area. And you can see the chart is doing something that we absolutely love. Uh, just a nice little trend. And it started to consolidate. It pulled back here. And now it's starting to rally back up. So rally back up and rest. That's where we're looking for a buy uh, in there. Uh, Delta. Delta's doing that same thing. You can see where Delta has been uh, in a downtrend and then tried to break out, couldn't make it, actually ended up going back into that downtrend. And then here it's rallied up. Challenge took on and it looks like it's beating this high over here. We've got some nice consolidation here, and the consolidation is where we would like to be. So I'm looking for another day of consolidation, at least for the entry, and then maybe it takes off. Uh, that was Delta, and here's, here's United Airlines. Uh, United Airlines also might be setting up. You can see this uh, downtrend here, and then you can see where we just started rallying up. See the nice little pullback, little flag. Trindicator's green. We're right at the 34 EMA. Uh, bullish Friday. Somewhere in this area looks to me like might be a good buy. And uh, we'll, we'll look to take advantage of that. Um, if the market uh, and if everything is still lined up uh, for United Airlines here. Above 4280, uh, I'm good. Below 4280, not so good. Here is um, uh, Valero, VLO. Uh, again, we have this rally up like this, and then this nice sideways consolidation. Uh, this is, you know, this is very typical of what the road to wealth trades, this type of, of uh, uh, hard right edge where it's, where it's up and then to the right. And all this to me is the hard right edge. So um, we shop for this an awful lot. Uh, this is what we like to look for. We find them uh, because we have the scanner set up to do that. Uh, so it's pop up a little bit of rest. We get that pop out of the box an awful lot. And then we look to buy inside this area. Or the pop 
because once it pops and then it can prove it can hold, that's a sign that the bulls are still sticking around and they're not afraid of all the uh, bears. Allie, this is the last one I have here today. Here's Allie. We've rallied up, put in a top, came back down to the 34, back up over the trend indicator, and you can see the consolidation. This is uh, a consolidation the shape of a flag pattern. Nice little flag. Pair of uh, uh, doji here, hammer here. I don't think that's a tweezer bottom, is it? Or 47? Uh, it's about almost 10 cents away from a tweezer bottom. So not quite. But we did end up with a nice bullish engulf on Friday with a nice little flag uh, chart pattern in here. Above 4063, uh, I'll look at this as being uh, bullish. I'll consider this remaining bullish. And that might offer us an entry in there. So Alley might be looking good. So it was nine trades. Hey, I want to thank everybody. Um, I appreciate you watching the video here. I hope you've had a nice three days off. And I'm looking forward to getting back to work here tomorrow morning. All righty. We'll see everybody. Take care. And again, happy President's Day.